Hey everybody, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to create remote access for this guy down here, this Win10 uh, client rather, to connect into this network here using AnyConnect with the Cisco FTD. So the first step that we're going to do to, to allow that to happen and to make this more of a real world demo is we're going to set up an AD server. So let's open that up. Normally you'd probably already have an AD server set up, so you could just do the rest of the steps, but we're going to go through this. If you want to skip this video, go right ahead. There's, there's just going to, it's just going to be setting up windows, uh, getting AD ready and all of that. So, okay. So I'm going to just say yes to that. And there we go. It reconnected me. Okay. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the a static IP. So let's go into change adapter options. We're going to go to this Ethernet port. We're going to, we're going to go to protocol, Internet Protocol version 4, go to Properties, and we're going to set the following address. So this is going to be on the, the 172, no, the, uh, sorry, it's going to be on the 70, the 170, 10 170. Let's look. So this is this is behind the 10.170.10.1. Okay, so that's that's the that's where we need to put it. So 10.170.10.100, uh, 24 bit subnet mask default gateway 10.170.10.1. And for the DNS server, for an AD server, it's just going to be itself which is not 172, 127.0.0.1. So that's local host. So it's just going to resolve everything from its local host. It'll be running DNS like every Active Directory server should be doing. Okay. Click OK there. Click Close. We're identifying. And... It's asking me this. I'm going to say, sure, go right ahead. Okay. We don't have internet access because we are behind. We, we're not on the actual internet here. We could connect the internet to this. Maybe we will in a future video. All right, so that part's done. Let's go to the server, local server. What we want to do now is change this computer name. So you can see it's in a work group. It's named server. So let's change that. Change. We're going to just call this AD. And leave it in the work group at this point. It's going to prompt us to restart. Say, OK, I'm going to close this and I'm going to restart. And I'm going to pause the video while it restarts. OK, it's back up. Let's go back in. Test one, two, three is the password. So our next step is we're going to add the Active Directory domain services to this using Server Manager. So Server Manager is coming up right now. Uh, let's maximize that. And the nice thing about EVNG is, look, we can 
make this, we can actually increase the size of this if we'd like. It's pretty nice. It's interesting, it makes us log back in when we do the size increase. Um, okay, so here we are. We're going to add roles and features. We're going to click next. 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 And here's where we want to be, server roles. And we're going to add active directory domain services. So, and we're going to add features. So next, 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 install. All right, so this, this will run for a few minutes. So for this AnyConnect connection, what we're going to do is we're going to authenticate against Active Directory. I mean, you can authenticate against many different things. Um, Active Directory, Okta, Azure AD, anything. Yeah, I mean, more more likely today you'd be going up against Okta or or Azure AD. But in this case, this is a simple example. And maybe we'll try to get into some more complex examples of how you would configure this. But for right now, this is just getting this running. We could also add in here um, some sort of MFA. You could do a Google Authenticator running on another server that interacts with this. And you could also do uh, Cisco ICE, which would allow you to do Duo, something like that in the cloud, MFA. So there's, there's many different ways you can do this. This is just the, this is a simple example. And I'm going to pause while we wait for this to finish installing. Okay. Um, so I had to restart this, but we're back to the point where we would have been. I added some CPU, made it four CPUs and like 10, 10 gigs of uh, RAM. Uh, and we got through this. Okay, so feature installation is done. Our next step, we're going to close this. And we can go right to here, notifications. What we're going to do is we're going to promote this server to a domain controller. All right. So, whoops, let's see. Where were we? Let's go back to that page. Let's increase that. One. Okay. Um, we're going to add, so for this one, we're going to add a new for, forest right here. And the root domain is going to be, call it chriseve.lab. Next. Okay, our next step, this is all looks good. 2016 is the forest functional, domain functional. So we're gonna put in the directory services restore mode password. Let's do that. Click next. I'm gonna leave that. We're going to verify the NetBIOS name, which should be Chris Eve. And there it is. That looks good. I'm good with all of that. And 
and we're going to click next. It's going to verify the prereqs here. So we'll just wait for this to complete. Okay, so these are some warnings, but you can see up here, all prereqs pass successfully, click install. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click install, we can look here. Click install, and it does say it will reboot the server. And this is a Windows 2019 domain controller. Okay, and it's going through the installation. I'm going to pause while we wait for this to complete. Okay, it looks like it has just completed and the computer's being restarted because AD has been installed. So there's the restart. We've been disconnected. That's Eve. It's an Eve message. So we will click reconnect. We'll wait for this to reconnect and then we should be able to log in. Um, so now the administrator account has been converted to a domain account and that, that'll be your first account. So whatever you had for your administrator user, that password, I think it will prompt us to change it. We'll, we'll see in a minute. So I'm going to pause while we wait for this to come back up. Okay, server is coming back up. Let's see what we, we're applying computer settings right now. So right now, this portion of the network, you can see, let's, let's move this down is protected by the this Cisco FTD HA pair to the switch, which is on the, everything behind here is on the 10170 network. And we can actually, let's, uh, let's add that in there. Edit style, and we can put 10.170.10.0. And there we go. Let's move this over. Oops, let's move that over a little bit. Make that look a little nicer. Move this up here. We can even label that if we want. Let's edit style. We can put 10.170.10.100 right there. So, and then what you can do, edit style, move that over. So position, you can move that closer. And the label position, move that over here. Let's move E0 closer to there and there. So there you go, 10, 170, 10, 100. So there we can, we have that labeled now. And then this PC right here, save that. This PC is, let's look at it.
IP adder. This is 10.170.10.10. Okay. Okay, so here we are, Chris Eve administrator. So the administrator account has been converted. So if I log in using that test123, it's going to log me in to this domain controller. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, here we go. And here we are. So now we're in in the we're on the domain controller. So one more thing to do. Let's just create in DNS. We're just going to create the reverse lookup zones. So AD forward lookup zone. What do we have? Chris Eve dot lab. There you can see 10, 170, 10, 100. Yeah. We're just going to go into the reverse lookup zone, create a new zone. This will be a primary zone. IPv4. So 10, 170, 10. And that's all you have to put in there. Next. We're going to allow both non-secure and secure. We're going to allow that. Finish. There we have created that. And okay, so now let's go to DNS. Um, let's go to, we're going to go to the AD server. We're going to set up forwarders. So we want to go to conditional forwarders. Let me see where we want to do this. Okay, so we want to go to forwarders here. And we'll add, we'll add forwarders 8.8.8.8. .8 Obviously this will not matter in this lab. And four or 8.8.4.4. And that is the setup that we have to do for AD. All right, so in the next video, we'll go over the firepower threat defense setup of a remote access VPN. So thank you for watching.